If you're watching this video, I'm probably already on a plane flying off to Boston for PAX East. If you guys happen to be at PAX East, don't be afraid to say hi to me, Eric, Andres Restart, Mike Odyssey, or the rest of the crew that we end up meeting there. Who the hell knows? I have no idea. Am I going to be there all four days? I guess we'll find out. Uh, but what we're here to actually talk about today is Tears of the Kingdom. Well, I know. What a surprise, right? That topic on this channel? Never. But actually what I want to talk about is what new additions are going to be added and an interesting quote from oh my god i just had this right on on a, a live stream the other night but you know what we're gonna butcher it again i'm so sorry uh, eg anuma I, I i know i'm sorry guys uh, anyways he had a quote uh from a ways back that might explain some new features coming to tears of the kingdom that i wanted to explore and i think it's going to make a lot of you very very happy that he sort of hinted at this all the way back in 2020 yes after Tears of the Kingdom was officially unveiled at E3 2019. Now, before we dive into this, I want to remind you, we are on a road to 100,000 subscribers, and if we get there by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, I'll just give away a collector's edition of the game, because why not? So I would really love it if you guys would please subscribe, and let's move on to this video. So let's get this quote out there from E.G. Aonuma. Anuma, Anuma. oh, I'm so sorry. Let's just get to the quote. I, I won't butcher the quote. It says, I'm thinking probably similar to Mr. Miyamoto, and not necessarily do I want to work with someone that's good at playing games. I would rather be with people who maybe have an interest in climbing mountains or love scuba diving in the ocean. Just someone with a very different skill. And so maybe by having those skills... We can incorporate them into our games. Now, the references here are obvious. What can we do in Breath of the Wild? Climb mountains. But what can't we do? Scuba dive the ocean. What if this was a tease of a new thing that we're going to be able to do in Tears of the Kingdom? I know it's a bit of a stretch, but that's what we're going to be talking about today because we know a few things about this game just from the trailers, right? We know we get sky exploration. It's going to be glorious. A whole bunch of sky islands. Story around it's going to be great. What the heck happened to the Divine Beast? Hyrule's been changed. Maybe it's been expanded. Uh, there's been things rebuilt. We get to re-explore Hyrule all over again and find a whole bunch of new stuff. But what if we also get to not just explore the skies, Hyrule, and maybe the underground, right? The underground is a very popular theory. What if we do get underwater exploration? And this wouldn't even be new for Zelda. We've had water temples and you know, Zora Mass to swim underwater. So we've been able to do something like this before, but we can't in Breath of the Wild. We can dive into the water. We can swim on top of the water. We can glitch the water out and look at the bottom of every lake and, and river, but we can't really scuba dive. There's no underwater gameplay unless you count fishing, which is technically done on top of the water with things swimming just below the surface. So I guess if you want to count that, but even that's not even normal fishing, right? Like it's it's sort of catching fish by hand or bombing them. Yeah, I, I guess people sometimes you know use TNT to fish. Not me, but I've seen it in a cartoon once, so it must be real, right? Uh, look, I have no idea if we're going to get underwater exploration, and I've talked about in the past how I don't really want underwater exploration, and I'm I'm ready to be proven wrong. The the hard part I've had with underwater exploration is every time I've thought about it in prior Zelda games, the my least favorite parts of Zelda games involve going underwater, whether it's wearing the iron boots, whether it's actually diving under and hitting switches in Ocarina of Time, uh, whether it's the various water temples, even swimming with the Zora mask, as fun as it is in Majora's Mask, you can see how easy it is to mess that up with just minor tweaks they made in Majora's Mask 3D, which suddenly took something that was fun and made it not so fun anymore. And th these were very minor tweaks, and they might not seem minor in the grand scheme, but they were, and that's how easy it is to get it wrong. I think it's much harder to get it right. So to me, all the water levels and the underwater exploration of prior Zelda games has been my least favorite part of every game. So every time people talk about wanting this to come back, I kind of cringe a little bit because it's just not something I think the Zelda team does consistently well or even well at all. In fact, I don't think it's done well in most video games. Underwater levels just aren't very good in most games unless the whole game is meant for underwater. You know, think of the old school Echo the Dolphin, right? Like, yeah, 
That was pretty good because you're literally a dolphin. The whole game is supposed to be underwater. Or if it's like Subnautica, yeah, you're a scuba diver. It's supposed to be underwater. But a lot of the other video games, the platformers and the action adventure games, the underwater stuff is just not that engaging. And I mean, if you think about it in real life, yeah, it might be fun to go swimming in a lake or something, but you're not going to feel that same thrill with an avatar. Uh, so, like, go ahead and dive to the bottom of your muddy lake and see nothing. Like, what what are we talking about? It's not that exciting. So, I, it's interesting to me that so many people want this to come back. But as you can see, uh, you know, way back in 2020, the producer of the Zelda series talked about how he wants to work with people that are really enthusiastic about climbing mountains and scuba diving. Maybe suggesting that scuba diving is something they're looking into for this game. Like if we're not going to get full-on underwater exploration, that maybe we could wear some scuba gear and go underneath the water for small periods of time and do minor exploration like that. And we know there's a lot of water in Breath of the Wild, so I'm presuming there's probably a ton of water in Tears of the Kingdom. So I do think that there is a possibility, at least, that we could be getting some underwater exploration. Look, I think we haven't seen much of this game. Um, I, I don't even know that that's disputed at this point. But I think we've seen so little that things like underwater exploration wouldn't have been unveiled yet. I, I do think that there is so much unknown about this game that this very well could be a thing. But you know what? You guys let me know what you think about it down below. Do you want underwater exploration in Tears of the Kingdom? Do you think underwater exploration is coming back? Yes? No? Maybe so? Let me know your thoughts. You know what, folks? I got to go. I got a plane to catch. Uh, you'll probably get another video at some point later today, but it'll be way later in the day towards the evening. Otherwise, you guys have a lot of fun, and uh, we'll catch you. Well, I don't know. I guess we got a PAX East vlog series happening, so maybe you guys want to check that out whenever it goes live. Catch you guys later.